So I'm Tim Fowler, I'm an artist based in Leicester. I've been practicing professionally for about 15 years now since I graduated from Sheffield Hallam. And uh, I've recently just moved to this massive factory warehouse studio, which is great, but it's cold, so see my breath here. Yeah. The style of art I create, I guess, would be modern, contemporary, influence of street art. Even though I'm not a street artist, I've never been one, but I take a lot of influence from street artists. Some people call it urban art. I like to think it's a kind of hybrid mix of all my kind of influences I've grown up with. I've always had a passion for art from a young age, like a lot of kids, but I didn't really take it seriously until uh, my foundation course. You know, I did it at school, I enjoyed it. I was never particularly amazing at it, um, but I found it really relaxing. I always looked forward to art classes. Um, and then in my foundation course, I think, is when I started to take it seriously. I started to come across artists that really kind of inspired me and that kind of gave me the, the drive. My inspiration, I think, generally comes from just day-to-day -day life. Um, but the last two or three years, I've started painting botanical subject matter. So a lot of my inspiration obviously comes from plants. Um, a couple of years ago, I did a project, Arts Council funded project, which I kind of referred to as the plantation series, which was looking into um, plantation crops, migratory crops, cash crops that really built the Caribbean. My mum's side of the family of Bayesian from Barbados. So I was looking at crops that came to the Caribbean via the slave trade, whether it's to eat, um, to make money off to sell, and really how that kind of shaped, shaped the country. And that, that started a lot of my interest in botanical subjects. There's been a couple of favourite pieces over the years. Um, it's normally the ones I sell, you know, it's normally I like them and then once I've sold them, I'm like, ah, I wish I'd kept that piece, I wish I could buy that piece back. Um, there's a couple of pieces I've done on my daughters. I've got twin daughters and, and they're, they've obviously got a, a, a big place in my heart because you know, that was a few years ago now. So looking back and seeing them at that age as well as being proud of the actual painting. Uh, so yeah, it's probably about five or six I'm really happy with. What I love most about that industry is definitely the freedom. Um, now I'm in a position where I'm financially secure from my practice, I'm full time. It's the, the freedom to, to get up, come into the studio, make myself a coffee and kind of paint what I want to paint without being told what to do. Um, you know, you've always still got deadlines, galleries, commissions, but overall I do kind of what I want to do. So that's definitely the, the best thing. <laughs>